Hi, Kevin Blanche. I want to get back to the catastrophe that's going on in Japan and talk about nuclear radiation in a very sophisticated manner. Look, I'm so tired of listening to these guys in the so-called radiation industry spew with their Freudian agenda. Look, the people that you're seeing come out, MIT, different people, are the nuclear energy industry. Now let's talk about the nuclear energy industry. There have only been two studies ever done ever done. Big, good, scientific, broad-based, big inset studies. I have been heavily, heavily involved in one of them. I have been so heavily involved in this for years. For these people to hypothesize and say, oh, this is just nothing, blah, blah, is totally freaking irresponsible. It is total bullshit. These guys have an agenda. It is their industry. It is a very odd industry. Look, if the truth was known about nuclear energy and the possibilities that what can happen and has happened, there would be no nuclear energy. So every time you hear one of these assholes speak, take it with two grains of salt and three iodine tablets. Fact, iodine does not work. We have two studies, big, broad-based studies to look at this. It is irresponsible for these people to hypothesize forward on things that can have not happened, say this is going to happen. It's irresponsible to us, to our children, to our grandchildren, to people born 50 years from now, 100 years from now. To play God like this is ridiculous. The only good science has been done. Good scientists look at events that have happened. Big, broad, real events with big subject matter. We've had two in the history of this world. One, in Japan, the bombs, World War II. Those studies are there. They're out. Two, the big broad tests that were done in the Nevada test site from 1951 to 1968, open air, with live subject matter, with human guinea pigs, with human lab rats, our own Marines, and the downwinders in southern Utah. These studies are in. I've seen them. My father was a big part of this study. He was at the University of Utah when he was dying. Big broad leukemia studies were being done. They've been done. Look, in 1993, Congress acted. They had access to still documentation on these government studies. They appropriated $200,000 per person in southern Utah for the downwinders. Now, the Marines and the Army personnel, the 40,000 that were killed in the Vatican, got zero, not one single dime. But that doesn't mean those studies aren't there. They're there. I've seen them. I've been heavily involved in this. Look, we know from the two studies, Japan data shows us and this shows us, nuclear radiation does this. It causes acute ballastic leukemia. 100% of the time. If you're radiated, and the iodine thing is such a crock of shit, it has been proven over and over. The Marines were fed iodine tablets. The Zion Winders were fed iodine tablets. Japanese were fed down iodine tablets in 1945. It's a joke. It is a joke. It does not work. And you don't get just sick and die a day later. And they says, oh, these plumes don't travel. The radiation's small. These plumes travel hundreds of miles. The downwinders proved that. The downwinders in southern Utah, they were 300 miles away. Some of them 400 miles away, 200 miles away. There are incidents of acute ballastic leukemia. It does not show up a week later. It does not show up a month later. It does not show up a decade later. It shows up two decades later, three decades later, four decades later. I had a, my close friend Mikado in Japan. He and I used to talk about this a lot in the 90s when we were going to college. The Japanese studies, he says, look, this is 50 years later. We're, the people are still getting acute ballastic leukemia and dropping dead. The Marines in the Nevada test site, every single one of them got leukemia. Now, let's be talk about leukemia. There are three types of leukemia. Acute ballastic leukemia is what they get. It's a 100% death sentence. These people are perfectly healthy. My father, we're talking a guy who never had a cavity in his life. This is how many of these people are. They just get a little sick one day. They go to the doctor at home. They, they do a blood work. Oh, my God, you got leukemia. Boom. We have the greatest leukemia center in the world right here. We have one of the greatest leukemia doctors in the world, Dr. Glenn. We ha my father was involved in these tests. My uncle was a big dog at the Pentagon for years, heavily involved in this. This is not something I've just jumped into now. I've been heavily involved in this for a long, long time. I've seen the studies. I've seen the data. The incidence of cancer of the downwinders of southern Utah, which were two, 300 miles away, who got very minute traces of the nuclear energy, killed them all. Acute ballastic leukemia. Like I said, not five years later, ten years later. This is 20 years later, 30 years later. The Marines, every single one of them. Acute ballastic leukemia. Acute ballastic leukemia is a 100% death sentence. 100%. It can attack the most healthy person there ever is, and they know one thing from these studies. And I've been told this right to my face by the doctors who ran this study. 
I have written documentation that shows that I have access to these studies. I have access to the Congress. I've been working with the Justice Department for over freaking 10 years on this. It says, we know one thing and we only know one thing about nuclear radiation. We know that exposure to nuclear radiation causes acute ballastic leukemia. And people, and then we know that acute ballastic leukemia is a 100% death sentence. You get diagnosed with acute ballastic leukemia, you are going to be alive for a couple months. That's it. I don't care who you are. Most of my father was most, my mom used to say he looked like Elvis with muscles. He did, this is a man who never had a cavity. Boom, they're dead like that. I mean, extremely healthy people. He died with his mind on fire. I said, people like a grass fire. He had a wit like Mark Twain. I mean, he had a body. I mean, this guy, his brothers and sisters are all still alive, 80s or 90s, and none of them took, he had magnificent genetics. But this is what it does. It kills them all. Now, in the case of the Marines, they got no money. They got no respect. They got nothing. The downwinders got $200,000 a piece. And then there was the other, the Somerville case, and Congress acted. They had access. So these studies are in. The Japanese are studies are in. Me and Makati used to talk about this all the time. He says, look, the Japanese studies are showing over and over. The incidence of leukemia showing up 50 years later, 40 years later, 30 years later. It was gargantuous. In southern Utah, it was hundreds of times in many instances of the, of the, the national mean or the world mean. Thousands of times over the world national mean. 20 times in the larger aggregate over the national mean. Congress Act and appropriated money. I mean, these subset studies are in. So for people to go out and spew this ignorant, hypothesized bullshit, and then the other thing, you hear, oh, the nuclear engine, we're building these reactors in places that can't have earthquakes. It is such an arrogant bullshit idealism to believe. Oh, yeah, I mean, Anglo-Saxon American has only been here for 500 years. And to say, oh, we haven't had a major earthquake in this country like this in 500 years is so arrogant, it's unbelievable. We live on a major fault right here, a major fault. And if you don't think we can have a 10-point earthquake here in the United States, you are totally freaking in La La Ville. And it is totally freaking irresponsible for people to play God and hypothesize for, not just on us or our children or our grandchildren, to hypothesize the future of 100 years from now or 50 years. Nuclear radiation stays in the air, stays in... For thousands of years. Thousands. You know, and to say all oh, these little pews, oh, it's a circle, is totally bullshit. These minute particles, Southern Utah proved this. So quit hypothesizing. And these assholes that have an agenda that get on TV, an MIT guy or this guy, they, it's totally irresponsible. They have an agenda. Their industry. If the truth was known about the nuclear energy, there would be none. Now, look, they want to build a... a, a site in southern Utah, which is ironic, right, where Scott Matheson, our wonderful governor, was a downwinder and all these down, they want to build one right in their yard. You know, Jim Matheson, which I'm disgusted with, here his father was, I, he won't even email me back. This Okoya from freaking, uh, er, uh, excuse me, Hawaii, he supposedly involved Grantson for votes, they make me sick. He won't even email me back. I've been heavily involved, I've become an expert, I've had study after study in my face. I've read them. I've been involved with them. My uncle who's at the Pentagon started this research for years ago, years ago. So I've worked with the Justice Department over 10 years. So the two studies are in. We know, number one, nuclear radiation causes, causes acute ballastic leukemia. Acute ballastic leukemia kills you dead. 10, 20, 30 years down. God only knows what it does to the offspring. You know, I'm an offspring. We don't know. These studies are not in. These are big, broad-based studies. The other thing is 10-point earthquake are possible in the United States. They have happened here before. Now, granted, oh, it hasn't happened for 10,000 years. It hasn't happened for 100,000 years. So that means it can't happen. Wow. Think about it. Think about what we've done to the earth. Think about what we've done. Think about the all the directional drilling, the fracturing we're doing to get natural gas out, the deep mining that we're doing, the nuclear blast underground. You don't think that is changing the titanic plates? I think it's arrogant to believe that it's not. I mean, Pakistan underground freaking nuclear bombs, India underground nuclear bomb testing. Here we do under we did in the Nevada test site after you know we did open air and then underground. Not to mention the massive mining that goes on, deep, deep, deep horizontal drilling. So to think that we can understand the Earth by the past, I think, is an arrogant hypothesis because we've altered the Earth. Mankind has altered the Earth, so we don't know what kind of catastrophic earthquakes are possible. Now, we know through history that we have had 10-point monster quakes before. Now, to think what, how a nuclear reactor is going to act in a 10-point quake, I mean, we, I live right over by Clive. We store freaking nuclear waste here. I mean, it, it gives me the heebie-jeebie creeps. People forget in the 1950s, 
We had an accident. It took a media to sneak in there. Remember when all they found the sheep dead out there? Where it's all stored? Remember that? The government tried to cover that one up too. The government did cover up the Marine study, but it's out now. So, Kevin Blanche, I'll list my email. Like I said, I've spent, I've been so impassioned about this because of the death of my father. I am an expert on this subject, and it is arrogant for these people to hypothesize because they have an agenda. They want nuclear energy plants because these guys make a lot of money in that industry. And if the truth was known, there would be, and we do not need nuclear energy. We have the wind. We have the sun. There is an agenda. So take a grain of salt with every one of these so-called experts. And this, that plume that went up in the air in Japan, <sighs> mark my words. It will kill thousands. It will kill thousands. It's a sad, sad commentary that that thing, I mean, we know. We know. Japan, if anybody knows how to deal with this thing, it's Japan. And iodine is a fucking joke. Science has proved the iodine pills is nothing but a joke. They fed my fucking father iodine pills. They fed all those guys iodine pills. They don't work. They all died of acute glass. Stay with me. Kevin Blanche.